Hey guys, I was gonna show off a couple of Benchmade 940s that I own. Not really a review, just an overview. Well, there's a lot of videos out there on them, so there's nothing I can uh, say that somebody else ain't already said. But I bought this Cabela's one and I've been carrying it for several months now. I carry it in my change pocket with my keys and such so it's held up pretty fair but uh the wood on the bolster has chipped a little bit i don't know if you can see it there or not kind of see it now i don't know if it's uh if it chipped in my pocket with the keys i don't know if i've dropped it i don't recall dropping it but uh i may have and it chipped that way. You can kind of see where the wood bolster here is coming apart from the carbon fiber. They did meet up really tight and snug. Same on this side right here. And again, I just carry it down in my key pocket. I don't carry it clipped to my pocket like most because I've been carrying this little Glock 43 with this piece of Kydex on it in my right pocket. I'm right-handed, so it kind of took my knife pocket away and filled it up so I've been carrying with my keys but I thought the wood would hold up a little better than that it don't hurt performance or anything I mean it's just cosmetic more than anything but it just bothers me I don't know if it'll crack more but I'm sure Benchmade will take care of it but I went and bought this at uh, Knife Works and Pigeon Forge I wanted to back up because I fell in love with this knife. Was never really a Benchmade fan. I've owned several. Always sell them, trade them, gift them. But I bought this 940 because of all the love it gets on YouTube. And uh, I see why. It's become my favorite knife ever. I don't see me ever going without one now. So I wanted to get a backup. I don't think the G10 will crack like the wood did. I just like the looks of this one better. I'm not even a guy that, I'm not even into the wood scales. I usually don't like them. I don't think I own much of anything with a wood scale other than the traditional slip joint. But I just thought it was a very attractive knife. I like the carbon fiber with the wood. It was different. But so far, it's holding up good. Don't see many scratches or anything on the carbon fiber. I kind of thought maybe the wood would get marred up a little bit, get some dents or something along that line with, from the keys. But other than that chip, it's, held, it's holding up great. And it looks good. This one has D2 steel. It's the Cabela's... Uh, only knife you can only get it through Cabela's or second hand of course and I believe you can get this one just about anywhere it's just a S30V blade with black G10 I like the standoffs on the back a little pop of color sorry for the pocket dust I've already been carrying it I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I just wanted to share share a little bit about it. Great cutting knife. Great user. Lightweight. Very well balanced. I just think Mr. Osborne knocked this one out of the park. And I'm just late to the party getting one. I just didn't think I would like it because of the size. But I absolutely love it. And I've owned custom, still do, mid techs, all kinds of production knives. And this is by far my favorite blade to date as an EDC. It's just perfect, perfect for me. Y'all take care.